Welcome, I'm Jennifer Bourne. Thanks for being here. Today, we are talking about how to create a client management system step by step. A client management system manages the education, support, and care of your clients to make sure they feel valued and have an extraordinary experience. Active client management is all about improving the project experience, simplifying the process, exceeding expectations, and reducing stress for the client. Client management focuses on creating powerful client relationships because it is all about the client. It's about ensuring that they are happy, answering their questions, providing support, and helping them feel really good about their decision to hire you. Client management also <clears throat> is about you guiding them through the process so they're comfortable and they're satisfied. Strong client management leads to smoother, more streamlined projects, easier project management, and all because you have fewer distractions. Obstacles are mitigated early on, and the client has greater trust in you and your decisions. If you want to add a client management system to your business, you want to follow the five steps that I'm going to outline. Step one is to Outline your process in detail. The very first step in creating a client management system is understanding what the client actually needs to be managed for, how your work together will happen, and the repeatable process that you will follow with each client that you work with. You can begin by documenting your process from signed contract to the completion of the final deliverables. The goal here is to have a clear outline of each phase of your project or each step of your project. For a web designer, this outline might look something like discovery, design, development, launch, and training. Step two is to evaluate each step of your process. So next, you're going to figure out how to best help your client throughout your process from start to finish. The focus at this point is on streamlining their experience, making things as easy as possible, and re removing any potential obstacles. So for each major step or phase of your project process, you want to ask, what does my client need to know right now? <clears throat> You also want to ask, what does my client need to learn during this step? And you want to ask, what does my client need to do to move forward? Finally, you want to ask, what does my client need from me to be happy, surprised, delighted, and to have a really great experience? Next, you want to look at what positive outcome needs to come out of the phase or the step that you're looking at, right? So if it's design, that positive outcome is design approval. If it's development, the positive outcome there is the completion of maybe the WordPress theme that you're building. The positive outcome of launch is actually taking the final website live, right? So look at what is the positive outcome of each step. So if I were a web designer, which I am, I would answer each one of these questions. And once, and I would do it for each step of the process, right? So I would do it for design, for discovery, design, development, launch, and training. Step three is to outline your client management plan. So now you are going to review the collected set of answers for each phase, and you're going to review that information. You're going to look at those insights and figure out how to best manage your clients throughout that process from start to finish, right? So you identified what they need to know, what they need to learn, what they need to do, what will make them happy, what the big result is at the end of each step, right? So while project management is all about managing the project through those phases, you know, project management's about staying on time and budget. Client management is all about managing the client through these phases, right? It's all about making sure they're cared for and supported. So a client management system meets the client where they're at in the process. It provides information, tips, tools, and resources to help them move forward in a positive way. So when you're reviewing the answers to those questions that you asked, you want to also think about what can I offer my clients to support them during this step of the process? You want to identify what items you could create and provide to clients to 
help teach them something or help them learn something or walk them through that thing that they need to do or surprise them with a bonus to make them super happy. So this could be handcrafted emails, phone calls, tip sheets, ebooks, video training, worksheets, and more. So you also wanna look at uh, what you can do to, again, make that client's experience remarkable. So what little things could you add to the process at each phase to really wow your client or surprise them with something that they weren't expecting? Step four is then to create the client management system. So now that you identified what content needs to be created for each phase in order to answer those questions that you asked, right? You have figured out, I need an automated email sequence or a training ebook or a glossary of terms or an extra video training or a worksheet for that client to fill out. You figured out what things that you need and now it's time to get them done. So prioritize the items that you have to create by impact in your business. Look out which one is going to be the easiest to get done that will have the biggest impact on the client and the overall success of the project. Those are the ones you want to do first because they're easy to get done and they're going to make a difference right away. So prioritize that big list from the easiest to get done down to the most complicated and look at the biggest impact down to the least amount of impact, right? You want the work that you're doing in your business to have the biggest impact on your flexibility, your profitability, your margins, all of it. Once you do that, block out time in your schedule to get it all done, right? Creating the content for your client management system is going to take time. So you need to schedule blocks of uninterrupted time in your calendar that is dedicated to getting it done. So consider setting it as a weekly recurring event that you spend a certain number of hours each week until you get it done, or maybe one day a week, or maybe you have one day a month. If that's all you can manage right now, that's okay too. And you want to figure out ways to reap the benefits of your hard work right away. Your time and energy is important. And while it can be focused on creating your new client management system, you're going to have less time to do other things, right? It's hard enough to get all your client work done, but when you're doing your client work and you're creating a brand new client management system, it's going to eat up all of your time. So you are going to need to really look at how can you leverage the work that you're doing in a whole nother way, right? So repurpose the content that you're creating for your clients as part of your client management system and republish it on your blog, right? So you can take the content that you're creating for your clients, you can publish it on your blog and blog posts as you finish it. So you're reaping the benefits on your blog, you're reaping the benefits through marketing and fresh content, new things out on social media, more pages of your your site that it's going to be accessible in search. So you get the results right away on your blog, but then you also have them as part of your client management system. It's okay that it's in both places because you're going to continue to post new content to your blog and eventually those blog posts are going to get buried. They're not going to be as easily visible. Your client's may not ever see them. Just because they're on the blog doesn't mean that every client that you have actually sees them. And some that see them may not remember that because the most impactful content is the right content at the right time, right? So carve out time in your schedule to get that content done that you need for your client management system. And then as it's getting done, publish it on the blog. And then once it's all done, roll it out in your client management system, right? You have to put in the time and the effort, you have to plan it, you have to organize it, you have to implement it. But the best part about this is once you create this system, and especially if you build in automations, you can reuse that with client after client after client after client without reinventing the wheel. And what that's gonna do is save you time. It's gonna build margin 
into your projects that you didn't have before. It's going to give you that little bit of wiggle room to move things around if you need to. Or if you're not feeling it, take a day off if you need to. Or if you get an awesome project that's a rush at the last minute, you have time to be able to work that into your schedule. It's also going to help you boost profits. Because now instead of you spending your valuable time going back and forth via email and doing all of these things, now you'll have a system in place that you can automate to do it for you. And speaking of automation, step five is to delegate or automate. So finally, you have got to decide how you're going to implement your client management system, right? You need to ask, will I manually manage the system myself? Or will I use a third party system like Basecamp to house all the content and the materials? Or am I going to keep them on my computer? right? Will I delegate the process? Do I have a trusted team member who can manage this entire process and care for the clients and make sure the clients get everything they need when they need it? This position is often considered uh, or called a client care coordinator. Do I have one of those for my business? If not, will I automate this system? Can I automate my client management system to free up my time and the time of any of my team members? Are there certain parts that can be automated while others need to be managed manually? Or what are the triggers that are going to kick off that automation? Or you also want to ask, what software am I already using that I could leverage even further to help implement my client management system? Now, a client management system, like I said, cares for your clients throughout the duration of your work together. It is in place to educate the client so they feel really comfortable, to equip the client with the information and support they need so they can be a great client, and to empower the client to speak up and actively participate in the process with confidence so they get the best possible outcome. If you struggle to get great testimonials, if you sometimes drop the ball on wowing your clients or creating extraordinary experiences because you're just so busy, or if you sometimes find it hard to juggle the caring for the client part and the doing the work part that you were hired for, a client management system, especially one that is automated, is going to be an amazing solution for you. So follow the five steps outlined in this video and the article step by step. And as soon as you have part of it created, start using it. Don't wait until the whole thing's done. Get stuff implemented in your business, start using it, and you're going to see some results pretty quickly. Then you can continue to add to it and you can put in more and more useful resources and more automations and more implementations as you go. Thanks so much for being here. Again, my name is Jennifer Bourne. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, have a great day.